Well, there could be a silver lining, believe it or not, to rising bond yields, and that is a growing economy. Albert Brenner is uh, the Director of Asset Allocation Strategy at People's United Wealth Management, and he joins us now. Good morning, Al. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Happy Friday to you. Yes, yeah, same uh, to you. First off, we've been talking about these rising yields for weeks now because we keep pushing close to 3%, and oftentimes, most of the time, we see equities come down as a result when we get that four-year high. What rate are you looking at on the 10-year yield that is just too high for the economy to handle? Yeah, I, I, th I think we're... Um uh, we, we won't see trouble there until the 10-year rate gets really to 4% or so. If you look back at, the, at historical correlations, you see, in fact, that uh, rising 10-year rising, uh, yields have been positively correlated with stock prices so long as the 10-year rate is below 5%. Now, we're in a little different regime right now, so maybe that's 4%. But uh, insofar as rising yields reflect uh, increasing confidence in the economy, that, that's good for stocks. And, and you agree the economy is doing well right now? I, I, I think the economy is doing great, okay. in fact. Are you concerned about uh, a tightening job market or increasing federal spending and the budget deficit? Are, are those real concerns for you? Well, I think we, we, we do need to be watching inflation and uh, carefully. And the, uh, the, the fiscal stimulus that the tax cuts, the potential for uh, infrastructure you know, spending, could provide to the economy. There's no question that we would have been better off if we had had that a couple of years ago. But uh, the, the uh, you know the, there's no question the U.S. infrastructure uh, system does need improvements. Um, in in terms of labor slack, uh, the the thing that's puzzling there is that with unemployment now at four or four point one percent, over a half a percent below the natural unemployment rate, we're still really not seeing the growth in, in wages that you would have seen in past um, economic cycles at this particular stage. And e even the uh, Fed minutes that came out the other day commented on this, uh, the, the relationship between resource constraints and inflation doesn't seem to be the same in this stage of the economy as it's been in the past. So you'd make the case that wages can still increase and everything would be fine if that happened? Well, I think, in fact, we're not going to see the sort of wage increases. People have asked the question, well, the Phillips curve seems to be broke. You know, that, re that sort of standard relationship when uh, unemployment goes down, uh, wages go up. Uh, it, it's something we've been looking at since the Kennedy administration and before. But at this point right now, the Phillips curve is very flat. Uh, yeah. a, a decline in, in unemployment is not going to, does not seem to be... And, and and final question, Albert, just in yeah. 10 seconds here. Uh, we've had these wild, wild, volatile swings in the stock market. At what point do they stop, or do we continue all year like this? No, I, th I think volatility is going to subside somewhat. It, right. it has dropped over the course of the past week. It's now below 20. Um, I, th I think we're, we're seeing a reversion to uh, more, normal, more, more normal Cs, if you will. All right. Yeah. And the VIX index right now down 6.5%. So we'll take that. Equities higher. Albert, thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>